Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Queen's Wish to the Tormentor, and we are in, um, oh my, what is the name of it? Oh, Azen. Azen? Yeah. Getting ready to talk to the Rasa. Uh, things are not going as good as here as I had hoped. Nope, no one saw us, so we were able to take it, even though they are there. Yeah, this governor needs to be replaced too. Uh, there's the Rasa, okay. I'm sure he's going to give us an earful. From what we've been hearing. Alright. Yes, we stole your stuff. Excuse me. You enter the hall, the Rasa of the Lodanga. The local king gives his orders from this cool, cluttered warren. This hall is centuries old, painstakingly burrowed out of the stone, and every inch is full of artifacts and trophies. They tell the tale of centuries of victories and losses of the Lodanga. When you enter, the young Rasa of the hall smiles. He politely places the blade his blade in the corner of the hall, making sure that you can see his muscles and scars. Then he returns to the table and starts pouring tea. Why do you think he purposely was showing his muscles and scars? Hmm? I don't know. That's like an assumption. All right. Sorry, I had to take some water. <clears throat> Should have took some before I started this episode. I'm going to be walking, looking around first before we get to um, talking. So far, you're the only... Oh, there's someone named up there. This is the door that went out, I believe. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, we have Envoy Sharon. Okay, let's speak to her. There's a small woman sitting on this bench, one of the few you have met in the Lodanga. She has nice clean clothes and properly cut hair. You have her pegged as from the gentle coast before she speaks. She rises and bows, very pleased to see you. Ah, oh, what a relief. Someone who won't look at me as a strange pet who escaped a cage. I am Envoy Sharon, just here from the gentle coast. I am honored to meet you, Princess. So your name is Sharon. That's the name of my mother. It is indeed. It is. It is indeed. She smiles. Then where did the name come from? I'm sure you have already guessed. I was named in honor of your mother after she married a man of the Lodanga. You will find many who share the names Sharon and Damerel. I have heard that your mother is not well. Please accept the kindest wishes of the gentle coast. See, everybody knows. You join on <clears throat> on boy Sharon on her bench. You suspect that she spends lots of time here waiting for a few seconds in which she can pester the Rasa. It is a long vigil, but wearing down the the Highlanders it takes a lot of work. So why are you here to meet the Rasa? To irritate them, my Rasa sends me requests and I pass them on. Here they see the gentle coast as weaklings and insects, so I buzz in their ears until they deny to listen. I, of course, am exceptionally irritating. <laughs> why are you irritating the Dangas? Because I am a woman who dares to leave the walls of her clan house. The Lodangians have backward ways. The Roca is a vassal ha haven, not a pit of eternal anarchical violence. She says in a voice loud enough for the Rasa to hear. Of course, the Dangians sometimes give a hint of joining civilized society. So what do you think of the Lodanga? That they are the most perfect form of row. The height of brave, bravery and courage, at least that is what they tell me. So very brave. Why, their armed packs attacking the humble farmhouses of the gentle coast in the middle of the night is the height of roll manliness. <laughs> Good for you, girl. So what is your current request? Of late, the Lodanga was, ha, has filled with raiders. Many of these spill into our lands. I believe you had the honor of killing several of those. I am here to employ... The Rasa here to, I don't know, actually do something for one minute. So have you talked to Haven's governor? The sea will rise to Proba Krug before Governor Atto does anything ever. Excuse my frankness. Hmm, no, I agree. So you get raided a lot. 
Yes, it is how the gentle coast is rewarded for giving the Roca two centuries of prosperity. Yeah. Uh, any particular raiders I am I can look for? She is amused. My, I have heard that Havanites took joy in the hunt, but armed, cunning, human game? My real spirit is impressed. There is one particular fellow, Juxton Scar, he is called, of the Lodanga, a particularly brutal and successful raider of my land. He hides in the deep hollows and valley of the Lodanga. Then he descends to hunt my people. We wish a hundred deaths on him, but we would settle for one. But we would settle for one. You may meet him when, when exploring the Lodanga. And how can I recognize him? A pair of long scars running down either side of his face. Jackson Scar is not creatively nicknamed. He travels with a pack of brigands about a dozen strong. Be warned, he is very dangerous. And where in the Lodangi shall I look? Anywhere, twice. He moves quickly from camp to camp, often stealing the catches of other thugs. When you find brigand lairs, that is where he will be, eventually. Okay. So, was that a quest? It was a quest. Cool. I just have to remember you're here. <laughs> okay. So we have another named person up here. And it looks like we have a pillar. <clears throat> oh, that's the vassalage thing. Okay, which we don't... All right. So this is a Ringenberg. Oh, that's an interesting looking face. You intercept an old Danganian man with a double armload of scrolls. He sets them down and gives you a little bow. Welcome, princess. I am Ringenberg. That's an odd name for this area. One of the northern of the northern Dangi. I serve our wise young Rasa, and he told me to tend to your needs. And how do you serve? Like all the other Rasas, Rasa Loetta law etta is given an assistant i take care of a variety of minor tasks so that my master can pay attention to wrangling the clans and what do you do exactly i make sure rasa lawada's halls are properly tended to i keep records that take and take notes i temporarily serve in his place if he dies my duties are similar to the council of your governors you think you are good at your job I believe I am one of the best in all the row. After all, I am still alive. That is an issue? I am elderly, as you can see. Often when a clan is angry at a Rasa, they will send a Gildenos to kill an official or assistant and or assistant as a way of registering displeasure. I have made sure that I am more valuable to the Lodanga alive than dead. Okay. So I'd like to know more about the Lodanga. It is a beautiful, stark, harsh, wild place. I came from the north, which is harsher and wilder. I can't describe it. You can only learn from the about the role by existing in it. I am not a teacher anyway. I study what the Rasa orders me to, like Callwolves, for example. I spend more time controlling the city guard. Is the city guard unreliable? They are very reliable, just not by to me. They all come from their clans. And they all want to help their clans. I watch them and make sure they are guarding the city for the good of the whole, Lodanga. It is not a natural thing for them to do. No, oh, I would not imagine. So tell me about the Kalwogs. I'm sure that you know more than I do. Those deadly, treacherous creatures are a plague in all of Haven. I only try to learn about them because there are so many of them in our hills of late. All I can say is, don't let them trick you. They are mimics. They don't... They don't think like people do, but they pretend. It's a trick to catch people off your guard. Yeah, I've already found that out. Uh, he, he follows you around in case you need anything. You note that whenever he talks to you, he looks down at the ground. His robe obscures his wrinkled face. He's subservient. Okay. Sometimes if you don't read this, this, this stuff here, after your initial contact with him, you don't get this stuff. Anyway, tell me about the Rasa. Rasa Loveta is young and strong. He is bold and for one so young, wise. I would have preferred that he got to serve longer before being tested by the raiders. So how long has he served? Only three years. Still, that is quite a milestone. It is... If a Rasa is seen as not working out, the guild and Nas will usually retire him before two years have passed. We don't coddle incompetence like Haven does. Really? Because of our governors... What did he do about the raiders? Rasa Loetta, Loetta, 
What a, hmm. Has mostly perched the southern Danga uh, raiders. There are a few hiding out here and there, but the roads are mostly safe. However, he doesn't have the forces to reach the northern Danga. Happily, Haven does. Rosses are being assassinated. I am aware. That is not unusual, but it is a bad thing to happen in this chaotic times. I am especially afraid because if something happens to Rasa Loetta, I will... It will lead to my own destruction. Your own destruction? I will become acting Rasa. I am seen as too old and too weak to lead. Sad for me. That means I will face death from the Guild of Nos within... Hmm... Let's say four months. Well, that's pretty harsh. It is the way of the Roka. We can't afford weak leaders. It is a painful part of the deep truth we all must share. Okay. All right. So now let's talk to him. Welcome, Princess. Las Rasa Loeta. Loet, 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 yeah, whatever. The Rasas of the Lodanga leans against one of the cluttered tables in the hall. There is no shortage of strong men lining the walls. Security is strong. However, this man looks entirely capable of defending himself. He rises and gives you a bow, deep enough to be respectful. Welcome, envoy. I have awaited Haven's return, and I am happy that you have made your way here. It is a troubled time. Perhaps we can work together to make things better. Well, I am Princess Karina Paven. I have come on a diplomatic mission. I am Rasa Loetta, and I speak of the Lodangi. We can talk really soon, of course, but first, there are some old traditions we should take care of them. The old traditions? This is a diplomatic ceremony, of course. I have never I have never experienced one. It has been so long since Haven paid attention to my troubled land. First, I must ask, have you received permission to travel the pilgrimage road as required by tradition and treaty? I have gotten permission to travel, yes. He nods. You suspect that he already knew the answer. The Roka appreciates this gesture of respect. You are welcome here, and I will help you conclude your diplomacy as quickly as possible. And there again, you know I could lie to your face. <clears throat> yes, I am here on a diplomatic mission. He nods. His confidence is starting to worry you. And since this is the formal diplomatic mission from Haven, you are here to hear it. it you are here to hear if I have any petitions. Do you need help? And are <clears throat> Do we need help? And are we, as vassals of Haven, entitled to ask you for it? <coughs> Excuse me. That is correct. I am sorry for saying something you already know. Over the last few months, the Lodangi has been beset by raiders. And yes, there are always raiders here. Our land is known for it. There are lots of them. But they are strange, and many are not from here. I am aware some of them tried to kill my brother and me. A cowardly act that will forever shame the Roka. However, that attack will not. That attack was not the fault of the Lodanga. The raiders came from outside our lands and in quantity. We have been fighting them, and we have not been hunt winning. They are powerful. They have the aid of strange magic, and they are receiving support from outside, which brings me to my petition. And what is your petition? He takes a deep breath. He shuffles some papers around on the table. He is nervous for the first time, and you see why. Traditionally, these petitions are not important. He is going to ask for something real. We have tried to find the raiders of these raids. <coughs> I'm sorry. We have tried to find the leaders of these raids, the ones who plague us, hiding in the hostile peaks of the northern Danga. We have failed, so we must ask for your help. We petition Haven to end these raids. Mm. This is a this is an excessive request, but I am bound by duty. It will, I will satisfy it. You ask for more than you should. I decline. Usually, the petitions are just a formality. The Roka is a large place. I'm not sure how to find them. I need to get vengeance on these raiders. I will satisfy your petition. Yep. Rasa Loetta actually looks surprised for a moment. Excellent. Your brother Prince Sunner has a reputation as a hunter. You seem cut from the same stone. Well, we can provide you... We can provide you... Well, we can provide you prey that will make for a great tale. Your petition has been heard. I will decide how to proceed. 
When you are ready to proceed, speak with me. I can tell you where to go. The raiders torment your vassals, and they tried, and I think I just got a, um, a, um, whatever. <laughs> An achievement, that's it. Um, I probably because I heard his petition. Um, I can tell you where to go. The raiders torment your vassals, and they tried to kill you. We are all eager for vengeance. Soon, let us begin. That concludes the formalities. What would you like to discuss? So you are the Rasa of the Lodanga. I have been given that honor. I hope I survived to serve for a long time. And how did you become Rasa? To explain how the Roka does things would take a lifetime. I don't think we entirely understand it. <laughs> I don't think you guys do either. The final decision takes place on Prova Krug, our highest peak. The deliberations there tend to be a violent and tend to be violent and are always secret. And how long have you served? I have held this post for three years. The clans of the Prova Krug are wild, and they rarely hold the same opinion for two days. Yet they still seem to like me. I got a part of my education I got part of my education in Haven itself. I gained a lot of knowledge of politics by studying your mother. Hmm, interesting. And what are your duties? I do as little as possible. The clans of the Lodanga violently Insist on ruling themselves as much as possible. I mainly settle arguments between the clans of the Lodanga and between the Lodanga and the other provinces. The role never has a shortage of arguments. Yeah, you know, so I've noticed. And Rasas can be assassinated. Rasa Loetta, Loetta, bows his head. It just, I think it is Loetta, but it just sounds like a woman's name. Uh, head for a moment. His distrust seems entirely sincere. I mourn the murder of any Rasa. Rasas are chosen by their people, for the guilt of Nas to kill a Rasa takes away the power of the free world. But it does have a lesson for all of us how hard it is for a Rasa to achieve the balance. Achieve the balance? Haven's power holds the Roka. Rocha, Roka. A Rasa must support that <clears throat> the freedom and, and rights and power of the role but must also pay Haven what it is due. It is very hard balance to maintain. He does not elaborate on what this might have to do with recent killings. Hmm, I think I kind of get some of it. Um, he continues to host you in his hall. He is consistently competent and cordial. You never lack for tea and snacks. It would be a calm, friendly meeting were it not for all of the guards. Um... I would like to know more about the Lodangi. It is a be beautiful, proud land. Ignore the insults directed at us by the other provinces. It is only jealousy. Travel our lands and see for yourself. I suspect you are eager to learn more. After all, Consort Damerol, your father, was born here. You have some local practices that kind of concern me. I don't doubt it. However, the way we are, our clans, our lands, our ways we deal with our people, these are our businesses. I advise you, don't cause trouble. Our people suffer torments enough. So I'd like to know more about my father's clan. That is understandable. In a happier time, it would be possible. Right now, this is very difficult. I'm afraid that his clan is gone. Gone? Consort Damarel in his life provided many advantages to his clan, your clan. When he died, a lot of the other clans were jealous, and they wanted revenge. Damarol's clan moved beyond their reach to a new prosperous land in the virgin wilds between here and Diandia. D Diandia? You need not worry about them now, but I suspect you don't have time to visit them. And none of them remain? Some of them stay in the Roca to speak to, speak to them and to trade. To speak for them and to trade. Some of them are sure to greet you and claim a relation. Not all of those claims will be honest. I wish I could tell you more. I'm sure this is a disappointment. What else would you like to know? I would like to talk about Ray Haven's... I'd like to talk about Haven's rule here. We are controlled by Haven. The role are a proud, independent people, but we have also spent much of our history controlled by other empires. We know that one day you will be gone. Until then... You're not the worst conqueror we have had. So what do you think of Haven? I have known and been friends with many Havenites. I have traveled outside my land. I even received some of my education in Haven. My clan sacrificed much to give me these advantages, and I am honored and I have honored them. I do not hate Haven. I do not see you as evil. 
How has being in our vassal been for you? Being in Haven brings safety and trade. We are wealthier. Our children are more likely to survive to adulthood. These are not small things. There is a cost. It costs us freedom. Costs us an idea of what it means to be row. Still, I would choose to remain in your empire if it were only my choice. What about our governor? That is a more difficult question. Governor Atto has served here a long time. He is old, tired, complacent, and full of wrong ideas about how to d to win our respect. He does not help you. Of course, that isn't my full opinion. I would ask that you explore more, learn about the results of his rule, then talk to me more. So, okay, so you're another one I have to come back and talk to. Um... So I am ready to hunt some brigands. Oops, oops, oops. Um, um I didn't mean to do that. Gone. No, no, no. I'd like to. Uh, I'm ready to hunt some brigands too. The guards around the hall are instantly alert. You see a few hints of smile of smiles. Rosa Loetta says, "The basic facts are clear. The raids started over the last few months." They soon became vicious and unusual, in no way like the normal raiding that is part of our lives here. There are a few of them to the southern Danga. To find them, they are, to find where they are from and hunt down their leader, you will have to fight your way into the northern Danga. So who are the raiders? We don't know. They are very careful to not be trapped. They attack at night in cowardly ways. They don't let themselves be caught alive. That is strange behavior for royal raiders, but it is not the most unusual thing. How are the raiders unusual? Some of them are cow wolves and cow boars, mindless beasts with human forms. Somehow, the human raiders got the beasts to come along with them and stay under control. We have no idea how. So, there are no raiders nor Azim? Azim? There are a few, but I've hunted them down. My warriors made sure of it. They are dead or fled. The northern Danga is far wilder and has far fewer warriors to hunt raiders. They are the ones who need your help. What do you want me to do? The first step is to get you into the northern Danga. The main route is through Malachite, Malachite Pass to the north. However, the main tower there has a large force of mindless cow wolves surrounding it. My soldiers are busy keeping the clans down here safe. I think clearing the tower of Poles will be something you want to do. Is that the only route to the northern Danga? There are other passes, but they are very difficult. Even native row have a hard time traveling them safely. It is far better for Haven to clear the main road. There are good reasons for you to want to liberate that tower. And how can I clear Malachite Pass? There is a guard tower blocking the main road. It has been under siege by a swarm of call wolves. They have a good position, making it hard to slay them. I'm sure they can... I'm sure they can't stand against the power of Haven. What both can I expect there? Call was mainly. They are clumping there. They haven't got forgotten why they are there and wandered out yet, which is very strange. I'm sure that they have support, but our scouts haven't been able to see it. So why is this something I, I'd want to do? The tower there is under siege. There are Havenite soldiers trapped inside. They have not been able to fight their ways their ways out, and they are probably not in good condition. Liberating the tower would rescue some of your people. So Haven soldiers are trapped there? Why? Your warriors are admirably brave. When the raids started, they could have fled, but some of them tried to hold the pass. They did not expect so large a force. Governor Atto knows that they are there, but he has done nothing to free them. We find this odd. Perhaps he can explain his reasons. Yeah, he already did. Um... Yep, that is all I need for now. Then I bid you full wear. Return whenever you want. The door of the Rasa is always open. Okay. I didn't see this door until just now. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, get out of there. I want to take this. But you're in the way. Can I take it? No, because you're here. Come on, out of the way. Oh, over here, over here. Come on, out of here. Out of here, out of here. Come on. Now I can. Thank you very much. 
Uh, okay, we have another. Oh, we got something here. Oh, paper, paper, paper. And anybody with a name? Nope. Consort Dharm Dharmo. Consort Dharmo is the late husband of Queen Sharon III of Haven. Born the son of a clan co chieftain in the Lodanga, he met the queen when he, she was touring the eastern vassal states five years before her coronation. At the time of their meeting, the Roca was a neglected vassal, increasing, increasingly poor and restless. The princess met him while visiting the provinces of the Ro. Hearing grievances, hearing grievances, the two young, stubborn, quick-tempered nobles developed an unexpected liking for each other. Though it was widely considered a sub-optimal match, Queen Sharon was insistent. They courted and were married two years later. They have three surviving children. Consort Damerel was a highly disciplined man and settled into the routine of Haven society surprisingly well. His wild nature only found release in his determination to hunt more and more dangerous game. His tragic death came from the stinger of a very large scorpion. Consort Damerel's diplomatic efforts resulted in great advantage and prosperity for the Roca, though these blessings drained away quickly after his death. Yeah, his mother. His mother! Oh, don't come in here. Come on, go away. You go away too. Come on. All right, there you go. It's just waiting for them to leave. Um. Scroll of mercy. Okay. So. We have lots and lots and lots and lots of quests to do. Lots and lots and lots of quests. How do we get out of here? Down here, over to the side. We can go over here this way. Okay. So, I'm going to go back to my fort. Okay. And we're just going to start wandering around. Um, because we need to get here into the Rudical Ruins. We have a quest here. Oh, this is a Flint Pit Claim. Okay. So we need to start getting stuff. So we're just going to wander around here. See if we can find our way into some trouble, into a fight. Oh, what's this back here? You find a small mining claim. It's just a dozen workers wielding picks and short swords. They're digging around in some old shafts looking for undiscovered crystals or seams of deep metal. When you walk up the road, they emerge from the pit to greet you. Their weapons aren't drawn, but they are not happy to have visitors. When you try to greet them, you find them grim and tactum. You can barely get any information from them. They, they're from a clan to the north. They are looking for crystals. This is all they are willing to say. Have anything worth selling? They absolutely do not. Are you allowed to be here? They explain that this is an abandoned claim, and this, and thus they are legally allowed to be here. They probably won't stay for long. They haven't found anything of value, and they are worried about raiders. They watch quietly as you leave. You head back along the road to the east. A sudden hot wind picks up. Soon there is sand flying everywhere. It is hard to see. Okay. You struggle against the wind and sand and walk east. Visibility is miserable, which is why you don't see the raiders until you stumble into them. There are eight of them. They are sneaking toward the mining camp to the west, weapons drawn. When they see who you are, they stand to the side. They're waiting for you to pass so they can continue their bloody business. Well, we're not going to let him do that. Uh, no. <clears throat> Attack them. You give the raiders a bit of haven justice. They are barely able to comprehend the 
infinite extent of their bad luck before you are upon them. Not even give you the chance to talk. Okay. So we're going to do our famous fight on everybody. And that's you, and you're way, you're a little bit too far away um, to do any. So I'm going to put a construct up here. There you go. And you're on your weapon. Okay, shoot. Well, there he went. I knew he wasn't going to last long. Okay. I, yeah, I don't know how I got this shockwave. It just makes no sense to me. Can bleed you. Okay, you're back there. Are you close enough to do... Yes, you are. Okay. What you want, Cleo girl? Oh. They're all archers, just like we are here. Um, pick this one up, maybe. What did you just do? Okay, that isn't gonna do any good, you know, because oh. you're dead. And. Um... Well, this is what I wanted. Come on. Oh. Oh, I was hoping I could get... this way, get more of them. <gasps> Only got one of them out of there? Really? Really? Yeah, let me better heal her. All right, let's get rid of this one. And... Get rid of two of them. He abated, okay. Get rid of you. Almost showed up. No, we will. Oh. Surprise, you're still alive. Oh. Not anymore, you're not. The raiders have been slain. Alas, the Lodanga has a nearly limitless supply of them. You searched their packs looking for evidence of what clan sent them. You find nothing. They weren't foolish enough to carry evidence with them. You do find a small pouch, though. It contains a handful of gemstones and a large glittering crystal. Alrighty. So what do we got here? You find an abandoned campsite. Whoever stayed here last did a careful job cleaning up after themselves. You aren't sure if anyone has been here recently. You look for signs of Jackson Scar's van. You find nothing. Oh, so now I'm going to be starting to look at stuff like this. Okay. I would have just actually just ignored it. Uh, oh, here's the way into it. Yep, here we are. We found it. Okay, it's on our map now. The back entrance to it. Um, is it going to let us go in there though? From back. If we approach it from the back, should it? No, it's doing it from the front. Damn it. Okay, so we gotta... So you can't do that. You have to... Yeah, whatever. Um, let's 
So you gotta walk to it. Okay, I get it. Avernum was that way. You had to walk, walk to a lot of areas on Avernum. They didn't have short, fast, whatever. Okay, so let's go and get this done. Okay. So we've been here before. Okay. So this is the way we couldn't get to before. So how do we open this up? Hmm. This is also a place that has... Can we, can we get over here? Nope. Okay. This is also the place that has um, that one room that I have to figure out the ruins on, I think. Okay. So what are we going to find here? Oh, there's something up there already. Yes, we need that so we can add stuff to ourselves. Okay, this is closed off. Aha, there's something up here. Burning bones! Okay. We got more. Okay. We're going to knock back and you be stunned. Wow. Um, poison resist, bleeding resist. Okay, so, but maybe you can be stunned. To do some damage. How about. Oop. This cavern is painfully hot and humid, and the air is choked with sulfur and ash. This academy was built, unsurprisingly, on a volcanic bent. The natural heat was used for dramatic metalwork. Weirdly, under the smoke, you can also smell the remains of alchemical experiments. The Rudico weren't mad enough to do alchemy this close to a forge, were they? They're lucky this didn't blow this whole mountain up. Or maybe they've been intermittently blowing mountains up for millennium. <laughs> Probably. Okay. So, um... Did, did it work? I don't think it did. Alright. Alrighty. Mm, let's go ahead and put... Oh, that's not what I meant. You guys, I'll attack that. Um, let's move up. Nope. You can... Almost got him. Let's get this one out of there. Okay. Oh, fire. We don't want all that hot air. What level are they? Oh, they're level 11. Okay, they do level up as you go. I mean, as you level up, they level up too. All right. Really? Burning the bones. Um. Okay. Oh, I thought that was... <laughs> I thought... Uh, whatever. Okay. Anything here I can pick up? Nope. This comes down here. 
I don't think this goes anywhere. Okay. I think this only goes so far. Maybe not. Ooh, we got a forge, forge, guardian. Oh, they're forge guardians. Okay. So this is the main fight up here, it looks like. Let's see what's down here. Uh oh. Pentagram. You enter a long stone hall. Parts of closed gates to either side block off cells. This is where the Iruticol stored beasts, some captured for study, some made by them. After all these years, you would think everyone here was dead. Yeah, you can smell rank sweat and hear low growls. They must have abandoned some magical beasts here, left to spend a century being driven mad by solitude and hunger. Great. Yeah, which is what we were told would happen. So as soon as we walk, they're going to come out. I can almost guarantee you. Yep. When you reach the center of the hall, the gate you entered through slams shut. It is some sort of malevolent defense system. You suddenly suspect how the old Erudico planned to keep their monsters fed in their absence. You hear the grinding of steel chains over steel. The ground vibrates slowly under your feet. The gates are starting to open. I'm glad I did a soft save. Okay. So this is a bony sniper. Yep, that's what it says it is. Bony sniper. Yeah. And... Oh, really? Yeah, I got her out there where everybody's at now. You better do blessing to everybody. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, that's you. Who's that getting beat up? Him. Okay. Better heal him. There you go. And you're just gonna do this on him. How many of them are in there? Oh my god, all oh, these must have been connected. Um, let's help her out if we can. That took care of those two. And more coming out. And oh, now we got puddings. Ice puddings. Okay. Oh, you need help again. Okay. Um. All right, that'll work. Let's help her out. Twenty-eight. And come some more puddings. We're coming. We're coming. Get rid of you. Ooh. 
Oh, and you evaded. Really? There we go. See, I had to do it for you. Mm-hmm. Um. There are you. Let's do... Healing Wave on everybody. Okay. Then shoot this one. You can't shoot him? Alright. We can do... That. Oh, he baited. Really? You're just all right there. Okay. Yeah, I know. Get rid of this one. Oop, that one's open now. Damn it. That one's done. Okay, now we got scorpions. Okay, so... Bleed you. Um, you better heal her. This is me. Okay. I hope he's poisoned now. Come on. I'm bleeding. He's poisoned. Okay. Yeah, you better heal him. And I've got... This killed everybody. But it didn't, did it? Um... You're done. You and your poison. I thought I got you healed there. Let's get rid of this ice pudding. Okay, there we go. The final set of gates open. The western gates rise, giving you a way to escape from this trap. You shake your head at the irresponsibility of the old erudico. These sorts of horrors should never have been left uncontrolled. This is the sort of thing Haven's laws were meant to prevent. Yet Haven ruled the Roca when this place was left. It shows how seriously your vassal doesn't take you. Yet Haven ruled the Roca when this place was left. Yeah, it's true. It shows how seriously your vassal doesn't take you. Okay. Oh, um, that's you. I think we're going to go ahead and do a... Destroying me on everybody. Get rid of all of our bad effects. Okay. So was this the main thing? Oh, another one of these. Oh my god. I have no idea. These are so complicated.
No, what do we do here? It's all... I have no idea. I'm going to have to do some studying on that. <clears throat> of course, there's nothing down here. <clears throat> Probably some great weapons in there, too. Alright, there's a chest here. I'll need those flawless crystals. Um, Amber Shard. So this is how you get out of here. Okay. But I need to go back up there because I need to go. Now that the gates to the north and south are open, you have cleared a path to these ruins. This road is open for the first time in a century. It's not very valuable for you, but some smugglers are sure to be delighted. Opening gates between provinces makes traveling using the road map significantly faster. Slightly faster, sorry. But I need to go back up here because there was that one area that I needed to get to over here. Okay. So I got the main quest done. <coughs> oh. Alright. <coughs> so we're going to do the right on everybody. You're going to do, can you be bled? Let's see here. Mental curse done. Okay, you can be bled. <coughs> ah, you guys that jump. You jump. That one's bleeding. That's me. Blinding blow. Okay. Oh, these are the ones that throw crap. Really? Um. Can you get over here to these three? No. Nope. Let's get rid of this one then. <coughs> okay, that one's done. <coughs> oh. All right. <coughs> You're slowed. You resisted. Nope, you didn't. Okay. All right, let's heal him. <laughs> Since he's the one that's throwing everything at us, just like, get rid of him. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So. You don't have bowls rush, but you do have this. Can you reach them with that? You can. Stunned. Okay. Doesn't do anything though. Doesn't really stun them. <laughs> I'm not going to have enough 
Yep. There we go. There we go. Okay. We have a box. Cool. How do we get into those damn things? Those gates? Hmm. Okay, so this one is done. Um, this was in La Casa Lascara, I believe. The Erudico, yeah, so Gentle Coast. There is a Erudico workshop in the city of Lascara. Yeah. So let's go there. So we can get that out of the way. Here it is. And where is the pocket carry? That's that. That's that. Here it is. Go down here. You returned to the city of Skara. When you were here before, the air was tense, but it was still an active, festive city. That has ended. Darasa, their leader, has been murdered. Everyone is tense. The guards are alert, and the streets are empty. War is in the air for the first time in a very long time. The wealthy merchants of the coast are afraid. Oh, that's right. I had when I had to restart my game because I was having my recording didn't record. Um, did we ever talk to you? Our healer is lost. Your visit is an honor, huh? Okay, so I need to let you know where are you at. There we go. So, I cleared out the monsters in your runes, and yes, there were monsters. You told Carter Crafter Homus the tale. He is fascinated. The older Rudico were far more neglectful than I expected. How amusing. I will have one of our storerooms unlocked for you. Take whatever you find within. I hope this is that is a suitable reward for your effort. You are an industrious fellow, have a night. I'm a woman. Any worthy ally to the Rudico, I can see a way that we can provide you with useful knowledge. So what is the final way I can gain knowledge? He writes a letter, seals it in an envelope, and hands it to you. The tower of the Rudico is north of here. Erud Alsop, if he lives, is in charge there. Give him this letter, and he will be a great ally to you. And where is this tower? The tower of the Rudico is on the pilgrimage road. Just go north. It is very, it is very hard to miss. Yeah, I am. So, it advanced the, it advanced the quest. So one of your storerooms is now open. Um, is it upstairs maybe? Ah, this one because I couldn't get into it before. That's it. My yep. Okay. I know I read, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. Woohoo, another quest done. <laughs> well, it wasn't done because all I did was advance it. Mm hmm. So we still have to go to, to advance that, we still have to go to. To take, and we know him, director of the Tower of the Rudico. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some of these off of my list. Look at how long it is. There's so many of them. So yeah, I think I'm going to go to the Tower of Arudico, um, and get this done. Because we're almost at an hour. So I'm going to do that um, in another episode. If I can find it here. Tower of Arudico, where are you at? Where are you at? There it is. 
Yeah, so if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.